Don't confuse the people. We haven't done the 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 Halloween party yet. We're doing it in the morning here. See, we're still we're we're doing it. It's <laughs> See, happening and right then, now. Oh, right, it, right, right, right. No, you're as a matter of right. fact, if you're listening and you're in the New York area, show up. You'll get in <laughs> right. right now. We're partying hard at the Hard Rock Cafe. And the and the password when the bouncer tries to say there's no party is to say something really racist and push past them. <laughs> <laughs> Six-year-old Erica Ricks can hardly believe how many stuffed animals strangers have been sending her at her Los Gatos home. This one came from the hospital staff. They helped take her mind off her cast after a rare and horrible accident. Oh, boy. My hand came off. I just screamed and then she stopped the car. Two weeks ago, Erica was in her mom's car coming home after a soccer game. She was dangling a jump rope out of the window. Oh. I wanted to see it go up and down. I thought I was going to fly. But suddenly a freak oh, accident man, occurred. Kids are stupid. She was screaming and screaming, and so I got out of the car, and at her window that was just cracked about that much, the remaining part of her hand was, and most, and most of it was gone. There was so much blood that um, I was just afraid to let go of her. <sighs> wow. <laughs> Listen how this <sighs> went down. Oh, no. Good Samaritan stopped to help. It turned out one end of the jump rope got caught in the wheel's axle. Since Erica had the other end wrapped around her wrist, the force tore the little girl's hand off. Wow. I said, where's her hand? Where's her hand? And a, a lady, um, I believe it was Pat, said, it's here. I'm standing over it. And there's a rope attached to it. Some good Samaritan guy puts toys, down his Erica pants. Being <laughs> I'll bring it to the hospital. hospital uh, oh, she I'll spent nine home. days in intensive care. With <laughs> surgeons <laughs> trying to attach her tiny veins after the crude amputation. Aww. And it was a, a 10 hour surgery. Now Allison says there's hardly any room for all the get well cards and toys. And the family is overwhelmed at the strangers who are fundraising to pay their enormous medical bills. We hear about all the negative and, you know, the economy, it's depressing, and the people out there are good. She's worried about the economy? Help, it's a little I'm kid that got its hand, hand ripped off. Of course people are going to help. Something good can come out of something so awful. <laughs> yeah, even awful people will probably <laughs> yeah. try to hey, give look, a hand back I if they find it on the side of the road. Yeah. Yeah. But Lehman Brothers, nigga. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, <laughs> fucking price of gas? Fuck your kid. That's what people are... <laughs> My mortgage, motherfucker. Uh, right. Damn. You want to go? Oh, that was a horrid story. That's, God. You want to yeah. move on? I would, uh, I, would, I would gladly have sold that hand back. <laughs> 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 Give me 500 for the hand. <laughs> it goes to the fucking trash compact. <laughs> <laughs> you want to hug her at the graduation? 500 for the fucking hand, lady. You've proven that you do not have good judgment. And you should not be allowed to vote. Not saying that people that do vote have good judgment, because a lot of them and you, don't. And you talk about white collar proof, dudes too. You talking about proof. you talking about like Wall Street criminals yeah, and felons. Yeah. I don't all those guys. I, I well, think, okay, three Republicans and yeah. six million Democrats will get to vote. Anthony's <laughs> angle. This is the problem. There's well, a lot of angle, Democrats of in jail. Negro Democrats. His angle, sure. his angle yes. on this. A lot of white people in jail. Disproportionate number of black people. This would help Obama. Of course. Yes. That's why he's a little worried about this. But there's a lot of white people in jail. Yeah, I know, but this is disproportionate. <laughs> <laughs> the first time I jerked off in a peep booth in public in a booth, I felt dirty. Like, I felt like a dirty. I felt like a motherfucker that, like a flasher, or I felt like a piece of shit. See, you know, I felt like I was born when that happened. That never bothered me. <laughs> I felt like I felt like a caveman when he first sees the sun. <laughs> Nineteen fifty-eight. He was oh. the first black hockey player. In Boston, had the first black hockey player. <laughs> they went with wow! The, they decided to get the first black hockey player before they went with the first black uh, Red Sox. Oh, that poor guy! Oh man, yeah. that must have been that something. Poor guy! The, the crap that must have been yelled he out from the stands. Must have had stands. hockey blade cuts oh. all over his nose oh. and eyes. They, they probably beat him. <laughs> oh. No teeth. Because that's the only <laughs> sport you can get away with, really. You know, having a fight. Oh my god! It's <laughs> part of the he sport. He must have been the top. Toughest man oh, yeah. on planet Earth. <laughs> Tougher than 10 Kimbo slices because he His played in a sport where you could fight. This position was puck. <laughs> We're only five minutes into the first period, and this is Willie O'Ree's fifth fight. <laughs> <laughs> and he hasn't even gotten off his own bench yet. <laughs> Six six elderly women like that serial killer. White all oh. black serial killers. I had oh, no damn. idea until today. Invaded the home of five white teenagers. 
beat, raped, robbed, then killed. Now, that's an of. incident. See, that motherfucker. Yeah, that doesn't seem like a no, serial killer. That's Texas five, Chainsaw Massacre right raped there. Raped and killed 13 women in L.A. That, that's a, that's Chester, just a Chester serial killer. Chester Turner, serial killer. Wayne yes. Williams, of course. Yes. Yeah, that's the only one I remember. Damn. The, and it, and nice far, too. <laughs> All right, seven how about Shelly Brooks? Over six years. Uh, killed seven prostitutes over a period of six yeah. years. Yes, serial, serial killer. Because the BTK only killed seven people. Yeah. Really. Eight, or what, eight? Very few. Oh, but oh, there oh, he here's the cross-eyed guy. Muhammad, Muhammad Omar confessed to the rape and killings of sixteen <sighs> women in Yemen. That's a fucking. I think it's not even it. illegal over there. <laughs> in Yemen, oh, that's fucked up. <laughs> yeah, that's like we got to check Yemen's laws. <laughs> he was running. For, he was running for office, and that was his campaign <laughs> platform. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, that's terrible. <laughs> We got Nick at Valley Stream. He was at the uh, the, the mall where they trampled the worker. Oh, death. Nick. Good evening. Hi, Nick. Hi, Nick. Uh, yeah. When I was at school, I was at school in the Turgis College, and when I came back, or I think it was around Thanksgiving, this happened. I came back, and they're like, "Nick, you can't believe it. It got uh, we uh, some guy got trampled." I'm like, "Who was it? It was a temp worker from Queens." Who came and he was watching the store? Everybody wanted free TVs. Everybody wanted, like, not free TVs, but everybody wanted. We like, remember the story. Yes, yeah. yes. It was yes. Christmas was the temperature? shopping. Patrice explained oh, it perfectly. Oh, I, they opened the oh, doors at midnight for some great deals yeah. to get the Christmas shopping. Anything going. new to add to that? Yes, you yeah. just report. You, you could be reading that off the internet off of Snopes. Yeah. <laughs> How about a fucking right. a insider's right. point of view? Uh, you know Thanks what, for nothing. Uh, I'll, I'll punch out in a sec. But. What happened on the beaches in Normandy, shithead? <laughs> <laughs> take another right. take another breath of helium and tell us a little more. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> hey, fucking midget from the Wizard of Oz, can you finish that story up? <laughs> what, you, what website do you think you got his info from? Uh, you? Fucking Wikipedia. Long Island <laughs> Trample. This has already been said.com. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. Addnothing.net. I just like a website. Com. Exactly. <laughs> right. Hey, Parrot, you got anything else? <laughs> Parrot.com. He works for the well, blind. He reads got, the newspapers. That, that school just got shut down. So That's fascinating. Uh, Thank you. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, he's driving out oh, to fucking Suffolk oh, County. Oh, no, I messed up the role. I thought, you, I, walk, thought, I, thought, the I thought you said mad at pedestrian. Manhattan. No, to you're mad at the driver. Suffolk. Right. Oh, you're talking about me mad okay, at the driver. Okay, take a deep breath and get, get into character of pedestrian right. mad at the driver. Here it is. You're, you're, you're stepping off the crosswalk, right? Yeah, and uh, a, a, dri a driver comes up and he wants to make a turn, and he cuts right in front of you and turns in front of you and almost hits you with his uh, SUV mirror. Excuse me, sir. They, don't you know you're there's no right turn on red? I can't no, believe no, no, you. no, no. Hey, dummy, I have a green light. Oh. You have a go. See, we're 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 parallel to oh, each other. That's fucking. I want to make that's a too right, difficult. I want to exactly. make a right hand you're turn. Being too, you're, yes. you're, that's way. Are you fucking get you talking to Bobo? Uh, this has to be factual. You have no patience. There's no continuity to this scene. Bobo, you almost get hit by a car that that, that yeah. went ran a yellow light. And, and you but, was crossing yes, the street. Yes, yes. And I, but I, but I didn't run a, a red light. The vroom machine almost hit you. Why can't you bring it? The turn the turn the turn the turn turn move move. <laughs> I'm trying to yeah. right now. <laughs> You guys are behind Bob Kelly. He was telling me, dude, you got elephant ears, dude. Yeah, dude, dude, yeah. dude, you got your coffee, your big ears. Now, you know what, dude? You get older, your body changes. We're living a good life. Be grateful. <laughs> Boom. You got your friends, you got your health. Boom. So what, Dane is humiliating me every night by making me go up first. Mommy's <laughs> brand new positivity does sick of me. We oh, take it off it. It. <laughs> it is just, it's always, it's just. He does it to all yeah. of us. I yeah. hate oh, all, that all new fucking motivational speaker, Bob. So he's trying to talk that shotgun barrel out of his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, dude? Everyone's going to be sad. They're going to miss you. <laughs> it's terrible. Bob should get the perfect pull-up bar and put a rope around it and a noose. <laughs> <laughs> fucking kick a stool out. No, that's perfect. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Here's a guy, Mr. Torrance again. Torrance. Yeah. Torrance, I'm 32, yeah. and when I was a kid, we used to slip the porn magazine into a newspaper and then buy the paper, then take it to the woods and hide it in the rocks and some plastic bags. What a brilliant later, idea. You... God, That's it's become good. so easy for the kids to jack off these days. What a brilliant idea, the fucking porn in the news. All the I ever did when I was a kid is my friend Scott... He had a fucking cat box full of cat shit, so I would get drunk and then take the, the, the daily paper and put all the cat shit in it and then put it back on the table so when his father opened the paper, <laughs> cat shit fell on him. <laughs> 
What a great gag. <laughs> what a scumbag you are. Yeah, he's now back at home after a hard day at work and open it, and six or seven <laughs> little chat turds would fucking fall What a douchebag. I would get drunk. We'd always get drunk in his house, and I would just urinate all over his faucets. <laughs> I was like a pig. I remember being drunk in his bathroom. Once. I remember I'm being drunk in his what? bathroom and I'm pissing all over the mirror and his fucking faucet handles and all over the floor. Why? I don't know. It just made me laugh to do so. <laughs> Why would you do that? So, so oh, lit. is that funny? So, we might so have lost your mic, Jimmy. In a sink, man. <laughs> yeah, we lost, we lost your mic when you were moving around. Oh, okay. oh, wow. Yeah, it's I kinda, know what you did. It's probably the connection. There you go. Just okay. smack it a no. couple times. Why would it work? Perfect. Is that good? Now yeah, it's making it's, a hissing really noise. Good. No, that one's good now. No, that one stinks. No, it's broken. <laughs> it's busted. Well, there's a whole thing up here. Yeah, why is How's that, fan? Is that oh, on? Am I on the radio? Better. Yes, All you're right. on the radio. Oh, I like this one better. It makes me feel like an old-time broadcaster. You were a real fucked-up drunk. Oh, I was a naughty boy. Wow, to just going to start pissing on people's fucking faucets. But I mean really pissing on it. Not just the quick throw. No. Like, like, uh... Did you use the toilet at all during that session? I wouldn't have noticed it if there was a. If, 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 there could have been a fucking flowers coming out of it for all I know. Wow. No, why, why even open the fucking lid? Oh Certainly not. God, that is funny. <laughs> that is really funny. And then me and funny. Tom Naylor would fucking get dog shit, like big wet pieces of dog shit, and put them in glad baggies, and then throw them down the library book return slot. <laughs> 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 Some poor old lady just bought. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. And we threw we threw shit without baggies too. But I mean, when we could, we had to carry it for She's a while. Just volunteering her her stupid <laughs> yeah. time. She has to deal with your shenanigans. People's books sliding down into the shit. <laughs> She's just trying to shush people. Yeah. That's all. And the shitty books. Oh, we were awful at shit. Oh. All right. Wow, that is really funny. Cat shit in the newspaper rules all. I suggest it to anyone. Because <laughs> this cat shit stinks so bad. And you know there's going to be a couple of pellets of fucking litter in it. <laughs> <And then laughs> he just picks it up and <laughs> it falls in his Do you know how surreal that is when you come home after a long day's work oh. and you want to just read the paper and the next thing you know there's animal shit in your lap? <laughs> You know how bad that cat must have got hit? He probably thought the cat did it. <laughs> Snuck over there, opened the paper and shit and closed and it. The and then paper. refolded it properly. Oh, is that great? <laughs> wow, are you a fucking degenerate. Oh, I, I was, love it. I was garbage. Oh, God. Nothing was better than that. No. 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 Shit in people's mailboxes. <laughs> Who would do that? You were big, big on the shit thing. That's... Funniest thing I've ever seen in my life, and I mean ever. When I was six or seven, and my friend Mark Rosenberg, we were sitting there in the in the fucking grass. I love how he uses the the real names. Yeah, it just makes the story that much better. Mark leaned back and he put his hand. You've never seen a more fucking butterscotch pile of fucking wet dog shit. It was it was as fresh. And the fucking, I'm surprised the dog wasn't actually walking away when he did it. He put his hand, he leaned back for a casual chat in the grass and stuck his hand in this pile of shit. And it's the funniest thing. I've, I've never seen anything funnier. That was 32 years ago. Oh, and nothing shit. has come close. Were you just doubled over crying and laughing? It was incomprehensibly <laughs> funny. Like, I, as a child, I didn't realize that anything could make you feel that kind of emotion. And that's all it took. <laughs> and women think they understand what funny is. That's Holy what funny shit. is. Hey, oh, God, no, that is good. Andrea Pizer. Oh, I guess they, she never called. Oh. Do we have an update? How, God are damn, we trying to get we... Andrea Pizer on the? Uh, Dan, <laughs> Steve, can't get her on the phone from the New York Love Post. That. Oh. Hey, story of the day. Oof, it's time uh, for story of the day. And remind me to tell you the stories of when we would drive by with cups and throw urine on people <laughs> in New Brunswick. <laughs> that was our favorite activity. <laughs> We would drive around, me and my friend Looch. He was like 35 and he hung out with the teenagers. <laughs> oh, creepy guy. Yeah, he drove a fucking Volkswagen bug and we would drink and I would piss into cups <laughs> and we would just drive through New Brunswick and throw it on people. And I fucking, I had, I would leave the little... <laughs> Oh, we got some good ones, and I fucking had a plastic cup with a plastic lid on it, and I'll never forget there was a couple walking, and I fucking threw it, and the arc was beautiful, and the guy put his arm up to block it, <laughs> and it hit his arm, and Exploded. piss went all over him and his girl. <laughs> Oh, and 
guy be so fucking Oh, he livid. had to be steamed. We oh. drive around with eggs and egg people all the time. I got a guy in New Brunswick. He, he probably remembers that. Yeah, that guy probably oh, that re guy fucking remembers, remembers that Remembers being hit, putting his arm up, and having just slow motion, having his cup hit him. And he's probably, if he's listening, he's probably told himself for the last 25 years it was beer. No. <laughs> no, it wasn't. I told you, I, I told you guys, my friend fucking wow. Stanley and Mike. Stanley was the bodybuilder. We were 13 playing asteroids, and Mike was 13. <laughs> and so Stanley, Stanley wasn't gay. He was just a fucking not a smart guy. He was a martial artist. Me, him, and Mike would just drive around in his rickety old truck, and they would show up with margarine dishes full of motor oil. And we would just go to people's open car windows and, like, throw the fucking motor oil all over the oh inside of their car on their, on their console. Oh, you fucking scumbag. And I remember one time Stan ate some Chinese food and Mike had the hot mustard. And we saw some pretty girl. And Mike went, hey, whore, have some mustard. <laughs> and he threw it at her and she waved. And then she waved the mustard at her. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey whore! Hey whore! He was a sociopath. Cause I remember we oh shit, we you all were. We were driving. It was like a hundred degrees out. We saw this guy hitchhiking backwards <laughs> with no shirt, and fucking Mike goes, "Hey Stanley, let's fucking let's drain some, let's drain the engine oil and drive back and throw some hot oil on him." <laughs> he wanted to drain oil out of the hot engine and throw it on a guy's bare chest while he was hitchhiking. <laughs> 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 he meant it. Uh, let's go throw hot oil on him, Stanley. Thirteen fifty-three, dude. Once the hot oil, fucking. We found one time the Jesus. holy grail. We were in a parking oh. lot and we found a half a dish of melted chocolate ice cream, <laughs> and there was an open car window with one of those fur seat backs. Oh, we smushed it all over the seat back. We we drove by five minutes later. And there was an elderly couple. They had to be in their 70s. And they were outside the car. And she's wiping chocolate off the guy's back. <laughs> oh, oh, he must have been so hot under the collar. He sat down and got fucking chocolate all over his old back. Oh, it was perfect. <laughs> Oh, oh, that was a good one. <laughs> all, over his, all over his old back. Oh, he just, he was, I'll never forget him standing there and her behind him just wiping at his back. Oh, are you a fuck? <laughs> Norn was a fucking man. Oh, he really oh, hey, Stanley, let's go back and throw hot oil on him. Let's get a Paul in Nashville. Paul. Oh, oh my age. menace. He's a menace. Paul. Fucking <laughs> laugh my Paul. Yes. Go. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> uh, one of the best places to take a crap to piss someone off is to get up on a green at a golf course. Yeah. Sit there and fill the hole full of shit because you know that first golfer <laughs> taps in, reaches in, grabs his ball, and gets a handful of shit. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's a good that's one. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Damn good one. That's a damn good one. Is right. Hey, <laughs> Oh, that guy. I'll never forget the guy on the shoulder backwards hitchhiking with mm. no shirt. <laughs> You, you know what is also a good one with the old person and his wife wiping his back off? How long did it take for him to sit there until he realized his back was in something? It couldn't have been long because it was fur and we coated it with melted <laughs> chocolate ice cream. You understand? It was the holy grail of fun. It was hot. It was summer. <laughs> Wide open window. His mistake. I wish there wasn't a statute of limitations. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Fucking arrest his idiot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh fuck. That was, that was a good one. What a creep. Yeah. That wasn't even the... Ah, oh, shit. Yeah. He was going to say but that wasn't even the beginning. No, no. we, we rolled Then we killed them. We Both the, of them. They had the pickup truck one time, and they had a couch, a giant old sofa on it. So we set the sofa on fire and pushed it off the truck onto the highway. We were hoping a car would hit it. <laughs> <laughs> There's people in jail right now for six yeah. of the things he's talking right. about. Did you ever think of consequences? No, we were 13, man. No. Yeah, but I mean... Stanley should have. He was 25. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Stanley, I don't know what Stanley was doing. I know. We had an old Volkswagen bug in the back of a, a pickup truck once and uh, took it down the road at about 60, 70 miles an hour and uh, held on to the bed, the back of the bed, and kicked this thing out and just watched it like chasing the car as it was rolling. 
uh, and it was so good. And we were going to do that and then just leave, but nothing happened. Like there weren't any cops. There wasn't an explosion. Uh, people didn't come out or anyway. So we backed up, lifted it back <laughs> into the truck so we could do it again. <laughs> it was so amazing looking to watch this thing just roll. I, I remember one time, me and my friend Marvin, he was a Puerto Rican Jew, Marvin Schnoll, he was a good friend of mine. We were hitchhiking, uh, 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 trick-or-treating, and one guy, we knocked on his door, and he didn't have any, I don't have no candy. <laughs> no. <laughs> Poor fuck. So Marvin took his gum out and put it over the guy's uh, peephole at his door. So we're out in the y l yard. Five seconds later, the older man runs out and grabs Marvin and puts him in a headlock and starts <laughs> punching the top of his head. And I just stood there in my Halloween costume and watched. <laughs> 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 what were you dressed as? I don't remember Darth Vader or something. something. I just watched Marvin. Really evil Darth Vader. Yeah. <laughs> just watching it, your friend get pummeled. Yeah, while well, I held a fucking bag full of pennies and Milky Ways. Oh, is that uh. fucking funny? <laughs> <laughs>